Amen. Glory to God. Amen. But you've never heard it this way. Amen. Glory to God. Job chapter number one. Amen. Glory to God. Job chapter number one. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. I got a new Sunday school message. Amen. But I believe that it's going to be powerful and effective. Amen. Glory to God. I don't consider myself a preacher. Amen. Glory to God. I don't I don't say I can preach. Amen. You know, there's something that can really say they can preach. Amen. Glory to God. But I know if it goes down, amen. One thing about it is that I am a prophet of God. Amen. When God speaks, I hear him clearly. Amen. Glory to God. I see accurately. Amen. Glory to God. And we release the prophetic oil of God. Amen. Glory to God. And I believe that we're in a prophetic season. Amen. We're in a prophetic era. Oh, I'm preaching already. Amen. Glory to God. We're in a prophetic time. Amen. Glory to God. And I told my church this, and I want to share this tonight. Amen. This is a year, amen, that is spiritual. Amen. We're living in a spiritual year. Amen. Nothing about this year is natural. Amen. Glory to God. If you want anything this year, amen, it's got to come by the way of the Spirit of God. Amen. I must have said something good. Amen. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, you're in the right season. And I want you to touch your neighbor. Look at God, Raisha, because I feel the itch early. I want you to touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, you ought to be glad that you made it to this season. Come on, look at somebody else and say, neighbor, for all that you've been through, you ought to be glad that you made it to this season. This is the season for every child of God. Glory to God. Amen. You're in the best year of your life. Amen. God is up to something new and different. Amen. Glory to God. Read the Bibles. Amen. Job chapter number one. Amen. Job chapter number one. Amen. My reader is coming. Can I get another mic? Amen. Job chapter number one. Glory to God. Amen. Job, I just need to get there. If you're there, say, I have the word. I have the word. Amen. The King James Version only. Amen. Any other version is for your study. Amen. Glory to God. When we stand before the people of God, it needs to be King James. Hallelujah. Amen. King James Version. Job chapter number one. Amen. Beginning. Glory to God. Amen. Let's see where we're going to start here tonight. I believe there is a word. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Let's start up at verse number one. Amen. Let ye that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord says unto the church. The word of the Lord reads is thus. There was a man in the land of Oz. Yes. Whose name was Job. And that man was perfect and upright. Yes. And one that feared God and eschewed evil. Verse number two. And there were born to him seven sons, three daughters. His substance also was seven thousand sheep and three thousand camel and five hundred yoke of oxen. Yes. And five hundred she asses and a very great household. So that his so that this man was the greatest of all the men of the east. Drop down to verse number six. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And what happened? And Satan came also verse among seven. them. Uh -huh. And the Lord said to Satan, From whence cometh you? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that fears God and is skewing evil? Read a little more, come on. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for nothing? Have not you made a hedge about him, and about his house, and about all that he has on every side? You have blessed the works of his hands, and the substance is increased in the land. But put forth your hand, and touch all that he has, and he will curse you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold, all that he has is in your power. Only himself put not forth your hand. So Satan 
made it went forth from the presence of the Lord. So far, the scripture of the Lord is already blessed. I want you to look at your neighbor for a thought of consideration tonight. Amen. And I want you to grab them by the hand and scream at them. Amen. And I want you to repeat after me. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. I'm going to dance about it now. I'm going to dance about it now. And I'm going to dance about it later. But I will dance. Somebody clap your hands and give God praise. Somebody give his hands give all praise tonight. Give it to God, grab your neighbor's hand, we're gonna pray tonight. Glory to God, the hand that you hold, begin to pray now. Father, we thank you. We give you glory and we give you honor. First and foremost, God, we ask that you forgive us for every sin, every shortcoming. Everything that's not of you now, God created us a clean heart. Father, renew with us, God, the right spirit tonight. Now, God, as I decrease, as always, you increase. Move not by might, nor by power. But Father, by your spirit, save the Lord of hosts. Give your glory now. Don't let them see time mail, but only hear what you would have to say unto their heart tonight. Father, now, use the anointing that makes preaching easy. Use the anointing that makes teaching easy. Father, we say, Spirit of the living God, for a fresh upon to unite your people. If you've spoken through the prophet Joel, that in the last day you will pour out your spirit upon all flesh. Now, God, I summon 20,000 ministering angels. And you've given us charge over the angels. And now they inhabit this place. And they will minister to the hearts of your people, my son. They will minister to the minds of your people, I feel glory. They will minister now to the spirit man of your people. And God, as our spirit increases, our flesh will die tonight. We say, Spirit of the living God, not the hand that I hold. Squeeze your neighbor hand. I squeeze strength in his hand. Put your neighbor now. I squeeze endurance in his hand. Lift up your voice, church. I squeeze power in his hand. I squeeze new energy. A prayer determination. A prayer outpour. A new empowerment, joy and strength, peace and happiness. I don't know what my neighbors going through tonight, but God, by the time they leave here, God, let all be well. Let the word be fulfilled. I find the devil that's been on the hand that I hold. And I say, Spirit of the living God, have thy no way. I give you glory, I give you honor. Raise your hands, but it's already gone. You should make a hand, clap your hands together, and just pull the stop in your hands. You ain't praising the Lord, but it's not going.